بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Um, it's a very long story which we don't have time for obviously but in brief. كذا long story short. Yeah الحمد لله in brief يعني الحمد لله one of my friends uh, we used to sell drugs together to be honest with you. Okay. And he taught me yeah, a lot of things, not good, right? But I used to buy my drugs from him to sell, actually. <laughs> and I, I haven't told this part of the story before. You guys are the first to hear it, by the way. <laughs> so I was actually, that's what I was going to do. I was going to buy drugs. And um, subhanAllah, uh, his father happened to be a Muslim. His wow. father was a Muslim. Yeah. And uh, the guy had very bad memory. So some people, they complain about the bad memory. I say, it's good sometimes. Because my friend had bad memory and he forgot about the appointment, so he didn't show up. So it was very good for me, alhamdulillah. So that, that opened the door for me to learn uh, about Islam, subhanAllah al-Azim. So um, you don't know where the Hidayah is, but I, I always say, subhanAllah, that the transformation that I had after Islam, and I always talk with the youth, because sometimes when, when, when we hang with the youth, and I, I know what they're going through. And the thing is, I've been on both sides of the fence. So I tell them, I know I, I've been there, because subhanAllah, I went through a jahiliyyah, uh, you know, it, it was deep. It was only for about two and a half years, basically. But it was really, really deep. You know, basically, subhanAllah, you know, I don't want to brag about things I did because it was, it was bad things, but I've done it. So you can't come to me and say, you know, oh, this is it, that's it. Because I lived that life. I did all of these things. And then I lived the life of Iman and the life of Islam. And you can see the difference. I mean, the difference, subhanAllah, the feeling inside. And subhanAllah, I, mean, I knew as, as a person I needed to be more religious. And more religious. And I, I, was, I, I was searching for religion. And he, but obviously I didn't find that in, my, in, my, uh, in, in the Christian faith. So subhanAllah, I always say, and he, I, could, I was describing it to the, to, the, to the brothers, like somebody who's been risen up from the people, and he sees them in darkness, and he's in light after I became Muslim. That's, that's how I felt, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me this nur, he gave me this light and opened up my heart. So subhanAllah, and I always tell the brothers who are struggling to practice, they're struggling to practice and want to come to the deen, say, I've been there, I've done it. I, I came up during the time, now they're trying to be, you know, Snoop Dogg and all these guys. And this, When he first came out, I was there. That was, that was my days. When that stuff first started to become really popular, that vibe, that, the hip-hop culture, when it, in the early 90s, when it really, really came hard onto the youth, I was there. That's when I was, you know, doing my thing before Islam. And then, alhamdulillah, I, I became Muslim uh, during that time, and it was a, I, was, I was 18 years old. And some people were like, yeah, you're a little too young. You should experience a little bit more, you know? Done a little bit more before you took that step. So, alhamdulillah, Allah saved me. If I could have became Muslim when I was 16, I would have asked Allah to do that. But alhamdulillah, at the same time, the things that I did before Islam have shown me the blessing of what I have now. And it makes me, wallahi, hold even firmer to my deen, alhamdulillah. Because of the, the difficulties I went through and the things I did. And then when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided me. So I always advise my brothers and advise my sisters you know, to be thankful of, of having this ni'mah, being raised as a Muslim, not having to go through the difficulties you went through. And, 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 and to tr strive to practice your deen and to be happy with this ni'mah of hidayah. There is no greater ni'mah than hidayah. And there's no better feeling. I have a lecture, by the way, I gave in, in Sudan. Or if any of you are with me on Twitter or um, uh, on Facebook, the people thought I was a little bit crazy because I called it the ultimate high. Okay? I wanted to call it let's get high, but I thought maybe that, the sheikh's gone a little too strange there. But I was talking about the iman rush, how you feel, because people who are getting high they're looking for something inside because they're missing something. But I said, alhamdulillah, when you have that iman, you don't need that. You have something that's amazing. And we talked about it earlier, the halawa of iman, the sweetness of faith. Once you have that, subhanAllah, you don't need these things. You don't need to turn to these things. So alhamdulillah, that was for me I mean, the, the turning point and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided me. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide all of us and to keep us firm upon the haqq.